Where do you start from when looking to turn your plot into an asset? The first stop is always the conventional construction model. Yet, alternative building technology is becoming the future of construction, ticking all the boxes from flexible design, cost effectiveness, time efficiency, quality and eco-friendliness. Coming up, a conversation why alternative building technology is indeed the future of construction. Here is more. I'm uh, a person with a lot of passion about construction, specifically modular housing. I was in the insurance industry as a professional for 18 years. I did my time and now I've gone into entrepreneurship, which is blood in the family. And I chose modular housing because it has been my quiet hobby for very many years. You know the thing you always watch on YouTube until 2 a.m.? and I've now turned my hobby into a passion for education and a passion to also build. And above that, I've also taken it upon myself to have a modular project so that I put my money where my mouth is. So my modular project is a resort in Naivasha. I'll give you the initials, I won't give you the whole name of the project. It's called AOV, a legacy project. So it's not just um, revenue generating, but it's also in memory of my late father who passed on three years ago and wanted to develop his property in uh, Naivasha. Unfortunately, he passed on before he could and my mother wanted to carry on that legacy and just honor her husband and she asked us to join in as her children to honor dad. And that's exactly what we've done. So we are bringing his dream to life. A bit differently, but we're bringing his dream to life and we are very proud about it. The original project, what my father had left us, was a hotel-like uh, setting, what you generally have on Moy South Lake in uh, Naivasha. However, we decided to do a geological report of the area and it's quite close to the lake because it's at the end of Moy South Lake Road. So we found that the soils were quite uh, weak to hold the kind of building that he wanted. So that meant we had to put his project aside. Then uh, we also wanted something different. I mean, for a person to drive all the way down to AOV, we have to offer something different. We are also pioneers in, in the family, so we didn't mind going crazy and doing something totally different from what is available. So what the project is, is a combination of a restaurant, what we are calling a clubhouse, and villas. So instead of giving clients the normal hotel setup, you know, where you, you know, you're in this one room and then you go for meals in another, we are giving you a home away from home. So we'll have about eight villas with different uh, number of bedrooms where you can come as a couple, you can come alone, or you can come as a family. You can cook for yourselves, there'll be uh, kitchens or we can get a chef for you, but there'll also be a clubhouse where if you want to drive down on a Saturday to just have a meal by the lake and uh, just relax and get away from the concrete jungle in uh, Nairobi, then you can be able to sit in our clubhouse, have a view of the lake, enjoy the fresh air and have a steak. Why we chose modular construction is because the soil in Naivasha had a very low load-bearing uh, capacity. By that I mean it couldn't hold a heavy building well and for long. Now modular houses are much lighter because you basically do a normal foundation just like we do but because the main house is going to be lighter we don't go as deep as we do with conventional construction. The foundation is actually uh, shallower. That means you affect the environment less. Then from there you put up a steel frame. Uh, you have the design of the house, the steel frame is done in a factory. That means that the foundation and the superstructure of the house are actually done concurrently. The foundation is done on site, but the superstructure of the house is done in a factory. So once the foundation cures, they bolt up the steel frames in the factory, they bring them down to the site. And like I can tell you for the building that's already up on our site, a superstructure was uh, put up in a day. 
So once the steel frame is up, they now uh, build up the walls using um, fabricated uh, cement boards and uh, what we call glass uh, fiber, glass wool in between, to make it soundproof and uh, also just to give it uh, bulk and, and, and character. What I've experienced as both a client and um, a thought leader in the modular space is the speed. It's, it's ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it. We broke ground for the current building that's there. We first built the staff quarters, which is about 78.5 uh, meters squared. We broke ground on 24th of October 2024, and that house is currently ready for occupation. It has four bedrooms, it has a kitchenette for the staff, it has a laundry room, and it has a store. And all that is now up and running. So the speed part of it is fantastic, especially for us who want to generate revenue. In construction, time is really money. So if I can save on time, it means that I start earning much earlier than uh, most people. Then it's also the flexibility in design. There's a lot you can't do with concrete, really, because of how heavy it is. But because you're using a light gauge steel frame, you can actually dream up. If there's a house you've seen in your dream, you can present it to the ISM team, and their architects will bring it to life. So we like the flexibility. The cost effectiveness, the original BQ we got uh, for, the, for the building that my father wanted to put up, was ridiculous. In fact, we would have shelved this plan a long time ago because it was just not financially feasible at the time. But when we came to ISM for a quote, we realized that we can actually do this without straining too much and we phased it. So currently, we are on phase one. It's a two-phased project and we are on phase one. So the saving is about 20 to 30 percent, which is quite big because then that's the same amount that we use in um, making the interiors special. I also like the fact that it's eco-friendly. So the land in Naivasha borders a conservancy. And so one of the things that we are going to give our clientele is that from your houses, you can wake up and see a giraffe, sometimes you'll see a buffalo from the conservancy that borders us. So with that, we felt that it, we need to be responsible um, entrepreneurs by making sure that we have something that does not affect the environment so much so that we share the place with animals as well. So modular housing uh, makes sure that there is very little disturbance to the environment. Actually the only disturbance that there is is the foundation because everything else comes from the factory. So what that means is that I can do my landscaping concurrently with the building of the house. That's how much land is left, um, you know, un undisturbed. So in the conventional uh, construction or traditional construction space, it takes 12 to 18 months. But in the modular space, it actually takes 90 days. And if your house is even smaller, it can take even a shorter time. Actually, you can get your house delivered all done from the factory. And when I say all done, it means it's uh, including finishings, delivered from the factory, placed on a flatbed uh, lorry, and dropped uh, on your site. The challenges I've seen are that you have to be definitely financially prepared because this moves very fast. So as much as you're phasing a project, you need to have your almost like your full budget ready then now you can phase it over time. Another challenge is um, just understanding it, especially like for us who are doing it as a family, you have to keep on convincing each other that we're on the right path, this is the right thing. Actually the major challenge, not just in uh, Kenya, but in Africa as a whole, there is very little understanding of modular. You know, knowledge is what makes people comfortable to invest in any product, not just um, construction. So there's a knowledge deficit, not just in the clientele, but also in terms of the professionals, especially the professionals in terms of the architecture, structural integrity, and the like. So one of the things that I have taken up myself as a professional uh, communicator and uh, marketer as well, when I realized the gap there is in the understanding of uh, modular housing, I actually decided to leave uh, employment 
and take it upon myself to be a thought leader in modular housing. So I'm also doing a PhD in uh, modular housing so that I can be able to prove to my fellow citizens that this is the future. So AOV, we in the Kongoni area near Oloiden Bay is where we are doing this project. There are eight villas in total with a clubhouse and staff quarters. We broke ground in October and we expect to actually be completely done by June. The aim is for me to have my birthday party <laughs> at the clubhouse. So in reality, this project is going to be done by April. The reason why I have mentioned June is because there are certain fittings that we want to do for ourselves. We are bringing them from outside the country so that we give the place the kind of feel that we like. But the ISM team will be done by April. We'll give them the fittings that we've bought and they'll install them for us. So I can tell you why I chose ISM. I mentioned to you that I'm a thought leader in this space and I've researched it for very long. So their experience in the modular space is phenomenal. Their ideas in this space is also phenomenal. But what sold me to ISM is that it's a one-stop shop. Remember in, when you're constructing, you'll deal with art one architect, a structural engineer, a mechanical engineer, and some of these people have issues with each other. One will but mouth the other, one will say that what I think the architect did didn't do well. I didn't have time for that kind of a headache. I didn't want my mom to also have that kind of a headache. But when you walk into ISM Africa, it's literally a one-stop shop. All the engineers, the architects, the interior designers, literally all the professionals certified by NCA are in one room. And that means that my project begins start to end. In fact, including marketing. If you're in the hospitality space, they can help you position and market your villas or your hotel. So it's a one-stop shop. They have also won uh, the Best Modular Construction Company Award in the real estate markets for two years in a row, 2023 and 2024. And if you look at the work they've done in previous buildings, it speaks for itself. It's very neat. And for me, I just enjoyed also the communication model. Um, our entire family is in a WhatsApp group with a team that's handling our project. So that's from the engineer to the architect to the interiors person. And so when I have an issue, I communicate on the WhatsApp group and it's clarified immediately. If there's something I've seen online and I want it added to the building, I send it to them and they tell me the possibility or they source for me whatever I want uh, to add or the possibility of actually doing it. So uh, to be honest, it's stress-free. I don't want to chase fundies around. Our family is a mixture of um, people in employment and people in business. We do both. So we don't have time to keep chasing fundies all over Naivasha. I want a professional team. We also don't have time to babysit a contractor, if you know what I mean from what goes around in the country. And that's one thing we made clear to ISM. We don't babysit professionals. And I can assure you that I have not babysat everyone. They know their business, they know what they're supposed to do, and they deliver. When they're not clear, they come to the client, they give their idea, their professional idea, and we give them the go-ahead. Periodically, uh, we also have site meetings with the entire team, all the engineers and the architect that was involved at Naivasha. They actually come with a project map. They clarify for us anything we need uh, clarification on. They give us the ideas. If there's anything to change, we discuss and agree on it. Then the ISM office is always open. So we also have meetings from time to time. Like when we feel there's something that uh, needs to be made clear for the family, we simply tell them we're coming in tomorrow. There's something we've discussed as a family and we want to pass it by you. And they're always available. Let me finish uh, by saying this to Kenyans. If you're considering building in the near future, even if you have your BQ ready, I suggest that you come to the ISM team first, sit with them, come with your drawings and discuss it. You will be surprised that what was costing you an arm and a leg is something that will actually be affordable and you will save on your construction costs and do something better like landscaping, invest in landscaping and better finishes. And as Kenyans as well, let's get out of the 
mindset of traditional construction. There is nothing wrong with traditional construction, but there is another option. Whether you're building a one-bedroom uh, servant's quarter, maybe for your teenage son, whether you're building an Airbnb as a charmer, whether you're building your own residential house, I encourage you, please come and see ISM. And I have a feeling that what would have taken you two years is going to take you six months. So let's make things happen in this construction industry. Alternative building technology is at the forefront of ease of construction, tailored for single dwelling, multiple housing, and commercial projects. At First Avenue, our real estate arm, we are open to answer your questions. And even better, we can arrange private viewing on projects that have used the modular construction.